So, hello everybody. What is going on, dude? It is Kibishimaka here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Fire Red. Last time, we fought the genetically modified Pokemon, Mewtwo, and caught him after a while. This time, we have our second and final Pokemon League challenge. Now, what I'd like to note is, as you can see, I have 14 rare candies. I managed to pinpoint the locations of the last three that I had missed, which I'll show on screen in a moment. But they were the third floor of the Pokemon Mansion, over on uh, Route 10, no, Route 9, just before Route 10, and uh, right in the top right corner. And last up, Cape Brink, just behind the Moo Tutor's house on Isle, on uh, 2 Island. So, there we go. I'll pop them up on screen real quick. We'll get to slapping these on. We'll take on the lead four and the champion once more. <sighs> Alright. Let's go and let's use our rare candies. You see we have everyone up to 74, or basically getting them all up to 75. No real move changes, everyone is basically all set and as prepared as I can have them. <sighs> I believe this is honestly going to be the best, well I'm going to be outfitted for this. I went ahead and gave the silk scarf over to Ted, and I gave the bowel the leftovers in return. We're basically just going to be wrapping this whole thing up. This is going to be the last few episodes of the series. I have to say I had a lot of fun recording this. Even though I had endless hours of grinding slapped onto here. And I mean endless hours. Holy hell. Like I know that my training is absurd. I apologize for everyone trying to keep up in levels with me. A good, if I'm being honest, a good being level 70 is okay. I just wanted to go for on par being 75, but um, you can go for 70. 70 is a good safety. I've beat it before. I beat the rematch before with my team being level 70. It's not too difficult. Um, you should be okay as long as you're stocked up on plenty of items. You have decent type coverage and things like that. You should pretty much be all right. And boom, there we go. Ted has so much health. He's gonna be our real tank for this. I haven't really retaught anyone moves. These are what everyone's stats are looking like. Their move sets. We got Ragnarok. Boom. Boom. The bow. Here we go. Vulcan. Dory. Ted. There we go. We got nothing else to do but step forward. Yo, champ in the make. At the Pokemon League, you will face the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose, you have to start all over again. This is it. Go for it. Our buddy has no other words. We're all stocked up. We're as set as we can be. Let's take on the Elite Four. Our last repel we're off. And here we are. Um, Dory's gonna start us off, of course. And be ready, because with these rematch, all their Pokemon are leveled up, have some new moves, as well as a new addition to each team. So be on the lookout and be prepared. But with that, let us begin. Let us save. Let me double check and make sure animations are on. Don't want to take away from the tension, of course. Yep, thank goodness I checked. Alright, let's save again now. Let's save for real this time. We have 63 Pokemon caught as our Pokedex finale. Why 63? Because I tried catching a Sentry for selfie and didn't get a rare candy. That's fine, though. Here we go. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I, Lorelli of the Elite Four, have returned. You know how it goes. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. 
Are you ready? Here we go. We have our rematch with Lorelli. Oh boy. Lorelli begins the fight with a Dugong, level 64, water ice type, big fat for the ability, blue surf, ice beam, signal beam, double team. Main thing that this Dugong is going to probably go for is start off with a double team just to prevent you from hitting it as often. Uh, ice beam to get off some good stab damage along with surf and then probably use signal beam just because it is good neutral damage overall and very effective against many different types as well as it has the possibility to confuse which can make it quite annoying. Fortunately Dory breaks through, takes down the dugong and we're all good. First one down. There we go. Next up is Piloswine, her new addition to the team. Uh, I say we bring out the bow for this. Why not? Let's have them have a little star in the lead for the bow. Well, no, Piloswine, as I've phrased it before, is level 63 ice ground type, oblivious for the ability, so don't bother uh, infatuating it, I believe. With the moves Earthquake, Blizzard, Double Edge, Rock Slide. Main thing it'll probably do is start off with a Blizzard for, well, to potentially freeze you. Double Edge for high stakes damage. Earthquake to really potentially KO you if you're weak to it. Of course, I am in this case. And Rock Slide to really just lower your speed, possibly, or even make you flinch. Well, yep, should be okay. We get to recover some health, which is good. There we go. Let's go on, let's just brick break once more. And that does it. Done in just like that, and we're all good. Whew. Everything's looking smooth so far. Next up is Cloyster. Huh. I've made this mistake before. I say we make it again. <laughs> it's going with Lotus. Cloyster is level 63 water ice type shell armor for the ability, so don't be depending on any crits hitting. With the moves Rain Dance, Surf, Ice Beam, Supersonic. The main thing it'll probably do is start off with Supersonic to potentially defuse you. Rain Dance to beef up its water type attacks. Use Ice Beam for Stab if it's super effective. And Surf as well for another super effective hit. Taking down a one clean shot. Next up is her main star. Let's, put, let's pit our Lapras against hers. Her Lapras. Oh boy. It's level 66. Water Ice type. Uh, water absorb for the ability, so don't hit it with any water type moves. Holding a cherry berry, predicting that you might paralyze it. With the moves Psychic, Thunder, Surf, Ice Beam. This Lapras is really depending on that Cloyster to get off a Rain Dance. If that Cloyster gets off a Rain Dance and you send out your Lapras, if you choose to use one, you are in some deep trouble with Thunder and, well, Rain Dance. Thunder is a guaranteed hit. Unfortunately, for my luck, of course, Thunder's gonna hit regardless. It's anticipating, yep, the Lapras is anticipating, or more so Lorelli's anticipating, that you paralyze her Lapras, so the Cherry Bear will prevent that from happening. However, Dory holds out in our case, takes care of the Lapras, and we're all good. And last up is the big nuisance, the biggest annoyance on our team, of course. It is none other, none other than Jinx. Bring out Ted for this. Jinx is level 66 as well. Ice Psychic type oblivious for the ability, so don't attempt to attract it. With the move Psychic, Ice Beam, Lovely Kiss, Attract. Same strategy as last time. It'll probably start off with an Attract to prevent you from hitting it. Lovely Kiss to put you to sleep. Psychic for high damage. An Ice Beam to potentially freeze you if Lovely Kiss does not work. We just gotta give it our honest shot, see how well Ted can do, and hold out go come on Ted yeah you're on low which is interesting to say the least huh <sighs> let's just go ahead tank out the psychic and hopefully wake up soon enough to get rid of it boom come on shadow ball interesting being a physical attack should be able to hit it and maybe KO it yes there we go we got the hits and that should be Put it down. There we go. Lorelli is done with. Boom. Things shouldn't be this way. Took her down just like that. 
You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. Of course. Next up, we have the Fighting Type Master. Let's go ahead, let me heal up, um... Well, everyone, pretty much. There we go, Ted's back at full. Bring the bow back up. Do -do 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 -do. And Dory. I believe I have some cherry berries, so I should be able to get rid of that paralysis. This is why you make sure you grab all the items available. Boom. There we go. Oh boy, okay. Now this is where things can get a bit questionable and a bit more difficult because of the new additions to Bruno's team. I say we start off with Lotus. <sighs> Save. Let's do this. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people of Pokemon can become stronger without limit. I've lived and trained with my fighting Pokemon, and that will never change. Isaac, we will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha! Here we go. We got a battle with Bruno. Huh, that hurt my throat a little. Bruno! With the new additions, he's got a Steelix. Level 65. Steel, ground type, sturdy for the ability. It was Earthquake, Rock Tomb, Iron Tail, and Crunch. Uh, I think an Earthquake maybe would do it in. But I'm gonna, well, probably Earthquake will do it in, but I'll go with Razor see how much. That is some decent damage. Main thing it'll probably do is start off with a Rock Tomb as expected to lower my own speed. Then probably going with Iron Tail to lower my defenses before chipping me away fully with Crunch or Earthquake. Crunch can also lower your defenses, but even on a harsher level. So do watch out for that and do be ready. Fortunately for us, Lotus is a good tank, can hold out and heal it. Himself with uh, the help of um, synthesis. Of course, Bruno's gonna use his first full restore, that's fine. Just go ahead, let's keep using Earthquake. I could have brought out the bow, but chancing dig and then getting hit by an earthquake while underground, that spell is doomed for him in any situation. There we go, another earthquake. And he's got EQ me, that's fine. Should be okay. Yeah, we're more than okay. Let's go ahead, let's raise the leaf. Boom! Only me! And there we go. No, not yet. There we go. Next up is his second Steelix. This one can be a bit more problematic. In turn, for having Rock Tomb, instead it will have Dragon Breath. It is level 66, of course. Steel Ground type with the moves Dragon Breath, Iron Tail, Earthquake, Crunch. It'll go for Crunch to lower your defense. Earthquake to get off some good damage, Iron Tail to lower your defense as well, and uh, possibly uh, Dragon Breath to potentially paralyze you. No, he has not. Have you showered? Oh, no, yeah. Sandwich showered, my bad. Go. Here's that Iron Tail. Look at that cream. It just ran it all over the mattress that I wanted to. Oh. Wasn't me having to cut the cream? Here we go. Earthquake. Boom. Get out some good damage. He's gonna EQ me back. We should be fine. Huh. <sighs> Got a critical. Ugh. Probably gonna heal up. Never mind. I misread that. We should be fine. Good synthesis should be able to get us pretty high in health, so we shouldn't have to worry about Lotus too much. Done. Bum. 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 Let's go ahead. Let's just. E let's EQ again. I'll play it safe. I could have gone for Razor Leaf, but I don't want any chance at missing. Let's just EQ, finish it. We're good. Boom. There we go. Next up is Hitmon Lee. Let's bring out Ragnarok for this. Let's do it. Hitmon Lee is level 65. Pure fighting type, limber for the ability, so don't hope to paralyze it. But there was Mega Kick, Foresight, Earthquake, Rock Slide. Main thing I'll probably do is go with Foresight first turn, use Mega Kick to get off some major damage, or Rock Slide to get even more damage, uh, and potentially slow you down. Earthquake for constant damage, 
we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Take it down with one clean shot, we're good. Next up is Hitmonchan, its counterpart, which is level 65, your fighting type keen after the ability, so don't hope to lower its accuracy. With moves Sky Uppercut, Mock Punch, Rock Slide, and Counter. The main thing it'll probably do is start with a Rock Slide to, well, get off some good damage against your fly fighting flying type. Mock Punch to hopefully KO you, Sky Uppercut for high amounts of damage, and Counter if it manages to lift through an attack and take you down in one clean swipe. That thing can be quite annoying and a big threat, but you shouldn't have much to worry about. And next up is his main star, Machamp. It is level 68, pure fighting type. Guts for the ability, holding a Persum Berry. With the moves Brick Break, Cross Chop, Earthquake, Rock Slide. And I'm probably going with uh, Cross Chop first turn just to get off high amounts of damage. Rock Slide if it's super effective. Earthquake for a good, well, stable damage. And Brick Break if you've decided to set up any walls like Light Screen and Reflect. We couldn't take it down to one hit. It's going for Cross Chop. Ragnarok should be fine because it was flying typing, though I could be wrong. Be prepared and brace for anything. He's probably going to full restore immediately. As predicted, I probably should have gone for something like Dragon Claw or um, Double Edge just to get off some chip damage. But we should be fine. Ragnarok gets to recover more health. There we go. We use Fly once more. We'll see. Do we get to take it down or is it going to hold on? Oh, so close. You know, for Crush Up again, he's gonna hit. Ragnarok should be okay. Yep, he just manages to hold out. Let's go ahead and let's finish this with a good old fashioned double edge. Boom! And we're good. Took down one half of the Elite Four. There we go. Why? How could I lose? It's not always. Uh, brawn, buddy. My job is done. Go face your next challenge. And that is it. Next time, we continue our Elite Four battles against Alagatha and Lance. Hope you guys did enjoy. And, uh, hope you guys continue to show your support. Peace out, everybody.